Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm going to be taste testing Duncan's entire summer menu, as well as trying some crumble cookie. Also, stay tuned to the very end of this video because I will be shouting some of you guys out as well as teasing two of my unreleased songs. I am so excited, so make sure you stay tuned. So, the first drink, I forget what this one was called. Let's, let's read this. It was the Strawberry Dragon Fruit Refresher Lemonade. All right, here we go. One, two, three. You guys, that's really good. I actually love that. It's very refreshing. It's a very, I guess, well, of course it's their summertime menu, but I love it. I would probably have to rate that first drink a solid eight out of 10. We're starting off strong. Oh, also you guys, I saw Jake Weber do this and I wanted to try it too. While I am reviewing some of the stuff, I will be answering your guys' questions. Let me pull this up. Also, make sure to go follow my Instagram if you haven't already. It can be included in some videos like this. What are we getting songs? I feel like I've answered this in like every single YouTube video I've done. Um, hey guys, I just quickly wanted to tell you how much I've been loving the Opera web browser lately. It's super fast and it has some awesome built-in features such as a free VPN and ad blocker. Make sure you go try it out for free by clicking the link in the description below. Now back to the video. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek and you guys will be the first, other than my family and friends, to really hear like a little bit of the songs. I think I'm just like such a perfectionist and I just want everything to be perfect before I release. That's why it's taken me maybe like two and a half years to release Blossom Boy, but we're not gonna talk about that. It's okay. Favorite Nessa Barrett song? Hmm. There is so many. I absolutely love her music. I've loved her music for like the longest time. She's actually coming out with a new album, which I'm so excited for. And her new song, I think it's called Passenger Princess. I'm really excited for that one. Next question is, I know you've been trying gold and silver jewelry, but which one, gold or silver? You guys, I've been like a silver girly for so long, but as you can see, I'm literally wearing gold. But I've been mixing. I, I don't think I can genuinely choose one. I love both. And it honestly like depends on the day depends on the outfit i think it really differs on like what i'm wearing and what mood i'm in i think it is time we try our first crumble cookie I'm not gonna lie to you i tried these for tiktok before i filmed this but we're gonna do it here too okay so this was the first one this was like my second favorite so we're gonna try it so good i love how soft this one is and my tiktok that i rated it i think i rated it like an eight out of ten next question is dream holiday okay i feel like going to greece would be so fun and so beautiful i really want to go so maybe next year should we do like a little greece vlog i don't know comment down below if you guys think you should go what is your favorite jewelry brand okay so a lot of the jewelry that i'm wearing right now is actually from the bead lounge they're located like in the valley area i go to them all the time especially for my permanent jewelry I recently just got this gold hand chain from them. I love them so much. I've been going ever since I was a baby, like little. Next crumble cookie. Okay, this one is the confetti one. I will say the texture is very different from the first cookie. I think I like how soft the first one was compared to the confetti one, but it's still great. So I will give that one like a solid six out of 10. We're just gonna go ahead and rate the last cookie because this was my favorite and I do just want to bite of it. So this was the snickerdoodle one and I honestly think this one is like a 10 out of 10. So good. So good. I think this is honestly like my favorite crumble cookie I've ever had. I also love how they're doing like minis now because I feel like the bigger cookies, I just never finish them. This is like the perfect size for me. I think we need to try another Duncan drink. Let's do this one. This is the Mango Pineapple Refresher Lemonade. Okay. Right off the bat, this is a little bit sweeter than the first one. And the first one is already pretty sweet. Honestly, it is really good. It's refreshing, but I think I like the flavor of the first one more. So I'll give this one like a, like a 6 out of 10. I feel like that's like a decent rating. The next question is, what is your favorite thing to do with Cameron? I I could literally do anything with Cameron and we would have a blast. I think one of my favorite things to do with her is write music. That's probably the top thing. But I just love spending time with her in general. I think writing music with her is just 
so fun because she really knows me and we kind of just vibe off each other and that's like the best it's the best when you're like besties with the person you write music with but i might be secretly planning a trip to maybe go see her soon question mark i don't know i think it's time we try a coffee i am a little tired i keep having to open up so many straws this one is the iced blueberry donut coffee Oh, we are moving. The car is moving. Oh, my camera does not fall. And we're safe. Okay, I'm actually so excited to try this. I've never had like a blueberry coffee before, which I think is really interesting. So let's try this. So the blueberry flavoring isn't strong, which is great because I feel like if it was like too overpowering to the coffee, I don't know. I like it. I think the coffee is like a perfect medium between not being too sweet and not being too strong. I'll give this a seven out of 10. Can we just talk about this setup real quick? <laughs> we're charging our car, or at least we were in line to charge the car. Now we're finally charging the car. Just wanted to give you a little update. This next question is, how did your parents pick your name and what does it mean? Okay, so I, th I don't know if Emily really means anything, but I mean, I think it was just getting to pick. Honestly, guys, I have no idea. I was almost named Olivia, and I was almost named Kayla as well. But I feel like Emily just suits me the most. I don't know, I feel like I'm just also biased because I've been so used to being called Emily for 16 years of my life. Go to snack. Guys, I want you to comment down below right now before I say my answer. Just try to guess if you know me. Like, I talk about this in every single video I do. Just, just guess real quick, I'll give you five seconds. It's so easy. <laughs> All right, my answer is talkies. <laughs> Guys, I honestly don't know what I would do if I lived in a world without talkies. Because honestly, my cousin introduced me to talkies when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, I've been obsessed. I also just love spicy snacks and foods. So that's my answer. So this is the next Dunkin' drink. I'm not hating. I'm a little concerned about the color. No, it should be good. It's a refresher. This one is the Kiwi Watermelon Refresher Lemonade. <sighs> so many straws. It's not my favorite. That's not my favorite. It's not bad. It's just not, I don't know. <laughs> I think this one is just not for me. Maybe someone else would like it. I think I'm gonna do that at like a four. It's okay. We liked everything else so far, so we had to get something in there that wasn't my favorite. Okay, so now I want to talk about some of the movies and TV shows that I've been watching recently. I actually just went to the premiere of, it's called My Spy, The Eternal City. And I actually went to the very first premiere, so it was the second movie. So I went to the very first movie premiere in like 2019. And I saw Chloe then, and I saw Chloe recently at the second premiere. And it's just so cool, like I got to see her grow up. I mean, I was little too, but like, it was just cool. She's gorgeous. The movie was amazing. And I want to go see it. Actually, no, it's out on Amazon Prime. I want to watch it again. I'm going to go home and watch that. I also went to the Twisters premiere recently. And let me tell you, I loved that movie. I absolutely loved that movie. The whole premiere was so cute too. Like we walked in, everything was set up. There were blankets, there was food, snacks, everything. There was even merch. There was even merch for the movie. I got like a shirt and it had like Glenn Powell on the front. We think, I don't, I don't remember, but it said, not my first tornado, like rodeo, but tornado. I thought that was fun. I'm gonna try the next drink while I talk about the shows I've been watching. So this, oh, it's leaking. How lovely, how lovely. Is that where it leaked? Oh, I completely missed. Okay, what shows have I watched? Oh, hello, Love Island. Everybody's been watching Love Island, seen it all over TikTok. All of the spoilers have been on TikTok. So I literally just started watching it and I feel so left out because all of my friends, everyone on TikTok is watching it and I didn't have Peacock, so I finally got it. And now I get to catch up. I've been binging it. Um, okay. Am I, did I run out of straws? Oh wait, no, I don't have any more drinks. This is the last one. This is the s'mores bonfire frozen coffee it is no longer frozen but that's totally fine it's really good it definitely gives off that like s'mores vibe it's definitely on the sweeter side too so i i actually really like this i'm gonna give this like a solid eight and a half out of ten. Oh, here's another tv show i've been watching netflix has this show it's called worst roommate ever and it's this like true crime horror show 
and I have learned, I mean, not that I didn't know, but just you gotta be extra careful. Like <laughs> that show scared me, but I was also like glued to the screen. I watched every minute of it, but that was the other show I've been watching recently. I'm trying to think of anything else. Have we been watching anything else recently? The last two things to try are a donut. Okay, wait, no, I actually just got like the strawberries, the strawberry frosted sprinkle donut because that's like my favorite donut. We don't need to try it because I already know it's amazing. But I did get these s'mores donut that they only have for the summertime. Okay, what's inside of this? No idea. Let's hope there's donuts. Okay. Mmm. I just got like a whole... Oh, wow. There's so much flavor in that. I love that. And then I think it has like a custard filling inside. That was good. I'm gonna rate that like a seven and a half. Love that. Now, you know what time it is. It is time for fan appreciation. Act. No, best friend appreciation. You guys are my besties. I love you guys. Okay, first of all, I wanna shout out Emily Nation 2.0. You guys are my angels. Love you guys so much. First person that I wanna shout out is Hannah, Emily's Lavender. Love you, girl. Always been there. And of course, Lacey. You're just amazing. Also, let's shout out Melanie. I love your edits, by the way. They're so cute. Also, another OG, Sally, Emily's Boba. You guys have been supporting me for so long and it's so crazy to think about. I'm so grateful for every single day that you guys have supported me. I just couldn't, like, I can't even express how much love I have for you guys. Another OG is Savannah, Emily's Cuties. I actually met her such a long time ago. I hope you're doing amazing. Oh, this one, Dobson Love. You have been so active recently. I have been loving every moment of it. The last person I wanna shout out is Rama or Adopson. She is amazing. She does the cutest edits. And she recently just started this account where it's Dobson Resources. She posts like everything I put on my Snapchat, my Instagram. So it's like all there. Everything I post, she posts there. Again, I just want to say how grateful I am for you guys. I love you so much. And let me know if I should do shout outs every video because I love doing them. We've made it this far in the video. I promise you will receive and I'm gonna tease my music now. This is crazy, I can't believe I'm doing this. Here's a little story time. So Boston Boy, I wrote with Cameron. Bestie Cameron, of course I wrote it with her. I actually have written like mostly everything with her. So Boston Boy was my first baby. Love it so much. I recorded it when I was 14. I want to re-record it because I feel like my voice has improved over the last two and a half years and I just want it to be perfect. So re-recording that. So I have the rough right now and I will play it. For you guys not the whole thing obviously just just a little little tease here we go that's all you get but the video is not done i have another unreleased song that i recorded recently but it's the demo so i'm only gonna play just a little bit wait should i say the name of it maybe yeah, I think I should. Okay, so if I decide I don't want to say it, I'll just bleep it. But the name is Die For Me. A little crazy, but just you gotta, gotta wait for the full song. All right, here we go. And that's all we get. <laughs> I'm sorry, I promised just a little bit because I don't want to give it all away. So again, I hate to do it to you, but you gotta stay tuned. <laughs> I hate saying that because I just want to show you guys. I want you to be included, but it, it's gonna be special. So we have to wait. I have one more trip to the studio and hopefully these songs will be ready to go, ready to be released. And I'm so excited. But that was the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I absolutely loved it. I just love sitting here talking to you guys. I feel like I'm on FaceTime. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.